Nubia has released its latest flagship gaming phone for the second half of the year, the Red Magic 6S Pro. And as you might have guessed from the name, it's a minor upgrade to the Red Magic 6 Pro from the first half of the year. While we couldn't test the Red Magic 6 Pro, let's take a look at how Red Magic's latest flagship gaming phone performs. Welcome to Gizmo China's Red Magic 6S Pro review. I'm Kieran. The Red Magic 6S looks very similar to the Red Magic 6 Pro, and from a distance, the difference is barely noticeable. But the back has become more minimalistic, and the lack of RGB lighting makes the 6 Pro more of a normal phone than a gaming phone. The entire back is very smooth and feels very good in the hand. The camera also doesn't protrude much. It features a design that is more comfortable when playing games than the angular gaming phones. Headphone jack, shoulder triggers, and NFC are also present. As a gaming phone, the Red Magic 6S Pro is well made, and it would have been perfect if the plastic protective layer around the screen was made smaller. Both Red Magic 6S Pro and Red Magic 6 Pro have similar screens featuring 165Hz FHD Plus and OLED display. With diamond-like pixel arrangement, there is no gap between the Samsung screen. There is no hole punch or notch as it is a complete screen, and the thickened upper and lower bezels make it suitable for two-handed gaming. The only drawback is that the screen will be greenish when we look at the screen from the side. The front view does not have this problem, and the colors are gorgeous. There is no doubt that this is an excellent screen. As a gaming phone, what we are concerned about is what has been done to optimize the gaming experience. Shoulder triggers are now upgraded a bit compared to the previous generation, while the touch sampling rate is upgraded to 450Hz. And the new addition of the back touch area plus shoulder triggers can quickly perform 3 or 4 operations at the same time. However, the back of the touch area does not make a distinction between different touch gestures, so you have to practice more to become proficient in operation. The game toolbar also gets a new design. Both sides can be swiped to call out the toolbar. Red Magic OS also includes some redesigned widgets that allow you to visually see your heartbeat, game time, and more. A number of game-related quick switches can be easily opened when you need them. Red Magic 6S Pro also uses a new cooling material, which in theory will be more effective in dissipating heat. Red Magic 6S Pro upgrades the processor to Snapdragon 888+. LPDDR5 and UFS 3.1 are also our old friends. Although this year's Snapdragon flagship chips are very hot, Red Magic's built-in fan design is not for show. With the fan on the strongest mode, and 2 Benchmark ran the highest score ever, 870,163. In 3 Mark, it got 5,897, while in Geekbench 5, the phone got a single core of 1,146 and a multi-core score of 3,686. The gaming performance is as good as ever, with PUBG being able to turn on 90fps mode in smooth graphics. And the frame rate curve is very smooth, but we know PUBG is not stressful to gaming phones at all. Genshin Impact's frame rate curve is not as stable, but the average frame rate of 56fps is very impressive. The frame rate doesn't fluctuate significantly either. Bright Ridge being the most processor demanding game, the average frame rate of 48fps is also very impressive compared to the other non-gaming phones. The built-in fan and new heat dissipating materials can ensure your processor has a stable frame rate throughout, but it does not guarantee the external temperature will come down. The back of the phone can reach up to 53 degrees Celsius, so if you want the external temperature to come down as well, it's recommended to buy a cooler. Because the Red Magic 6S is a gaming focused phone, we'll only go over the camera part briefly. The color of the camera is not very bright, but it's closer to the real color. The resolution is good and the HDR strength is very strong. The 6S Pro is not as good as it could be at night, especially with the ultra wide camera which does not have a night mode. But the main camera with night mode is fine for most everyday scenes. As for the macro lens, it can be used occasionally when there is enough light, but don't expect it to have great image quality.
The charger and charging cable are included in the box, but like the 6 Pro, although the phone supports 66 watt wired charging, the charger inside the box is only 30 watt. But because you can use the built-in fan to reduce the temperature when charging, so you can almost always charge at full power. 5 minutes tops up the battery to 11%, another half an hour to 62%, and 55 minutes to full charge. Although the 6S Pro has a large 5050mAh battery, it consumes more power in the gaming section because of its high performance. 20 minutes of Genshin Impact and Bright Ridge consume 18% and 16% respectively, 10% for PUBG. Daily applications do not consume a lot of power, as 1080p online video only consumes 2% and while TikTok around 5%. Red Magic 6S Pro is not a significant upgrade compared to the 6 Pro in the first half of the year. If you already have the Red Magic 6 Pro, there is no need to buy the 6S Pro, but if you want to buy a gaming phone now, you can get the Red Magic 6S Pro. After all, Red Magic's flagship phones should be one of the few devices that can leverage Snapdragon's 888 Plus's full power output, not to mention that built-in fan works really very well. So that's all for today. I'm Kieran from Gizmo China, and we'll see you next time.